Today we've got something pretty cool going on. Kano, the creative computing company that's famous for their computer kit that lets anyone learn how to code, even kids as young as six years old. These guys reached out to us about sponsoring a video on the channel. Now, we've always thought that the kits were pretty cool because the whole goal behind them is to let anyone create with technology rather than just consuming it and giving them the skills to make technology that improves their lives and the world around them. So the kit that they sent over utilizes a Raspberry Pi 3, making it a totally independent computer. So you can use Kano just as a browsing an email machine, or you can use the Kano software to learn to code on it. And of course, <laughs> just what? Browse the internet? No, that's boring. Instead, I've brought in a special guest and we are going to be learning some coding. This is the Kano. We had simple steps, you can build it yourself, you can learn to code, you can hack Minecraft. That goes right on the front of the box, look at that. Hack Minecraft, and you can make apps, art, and music. I know it says it's for six and up, but do you think you're a pretty smart five-year-old? Yeah. Do you think you could do what a six-year-old can do? Yeah. Okay, well why don't we try it out then. This is your computer's brain. This one. It's tiny but powerful. How do you get it? You gotta. You actually almost had it. Just try that again. There you go. That's pretty cool, actually. The uh, the guidebook here. Yes. You think you can install that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You gotta look carefully. Use two hands. So one hand on the brain, and one hand on the light. Oh, are you sure you got it? I think you got some pins hanging out over the other end there. You got it? Yeah. Okay, push it down. Push it down strong. Nice. The wire piece. Wanna double check that word? White piece? Ah. What's the white piece? This piece? Looks like it. Can you believe Kano sponsored us to sit and do something we would do anyway? No. Pretty cool, huh? I can't. Oh. Good job. It only goes in one way? Yep. Uh, I tried both sides, it didn't work. And that is the experience of using USB. Oh, and plug the big end into the power plug. You already did that part. Oh. So what's next? Now grab the small one and connect to your computer. Oh. Didn't we just do that? Yes. Did you jump ahead? Yeah. All right. Wow. Can you do that? What's it say? It says follow the white rabbit. Type CD rabbit hole and then press enter. What's that? Well, I don't know. That is a reference that you are far too young to get. Update now? Let's do it. Okay. Ah. Your very first boring computer update. Oh, it has a game you can play while you update. Why does Windows not have this? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Here, hold on. Uh, press J to launch. Seriously, how does every computer not have a silly little game to play while you wait for updates? Oh. You got two. This would make me so happy. Like every time I had to deal with this. So hard. Is it harder than the Vive? Yeah, way harder. The Vive is like this, this much. This much is hard compared to this. It's like this hard. And then we're gonna get Dark Souls and it's gonna be this big. Actually, you're not allowed to play Dark Souls yet. So, there's, uh, what's that? M for map. And then? Q for quest, and C for cox. Codex. Codex, okay, M. And I've never shown you your proper WASD positioning either. I'm Ouch. clearly a terrible father. So, your middle finger operates W and S. 
See? So, so you move it for up and down. Yes. And then these ones are dedicated to left and right. Okay. Make Pong? No, what do you do? Do you know what Pong is? No. Oh. It's a game. Do I press next? Mm -hmm. Who paint the board? Now, let's use the code blocks. Drag in the board, then set them since for the background and lines. Go. Cool. Okay. Go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, start with syrups. Startups. Start with syrups. You want me to move this a little closer for you? Yeah, please. That's better. Okay. Uh, okay. Click. Uh, yeah, I think you click over here though. Oh, startups. This one. Yeah. Okay, now what? Color? Um, so you gotta listen. Right, or you gotta look right here. Grab a board block, drag it in. Okay. Board block. What's a board block? Well, oh. this one's labeled board, and it's okay. a block. So, here, you wanna use this one for your trackpad, and this one for your clicks. Okay. Well, mind you, you got it already anyway. Okay, now what? Use the sense... Then. The scene. The scene? And this little, see this little downward arrow here? Yes. That's called a drop down. Drop down? See that? So when you click yeah. it, it gives you a menu of options down below. Oh, so do I, should I press it? Yep, you just click it. And then you can let go of this one. Boom! Now choose a color for the lines. Yeah, do you want to change it? No, I like this one. Okay, well you have to click it. You gotta pretend to change it. Pretend to change it? Yeah. How? Just click the color, yep. Yeah. And then click the same one. Okay. If you don't want to change it. Okay now, what? okay, now you click make to run your code. This time are you gonna be ready for to move the paddle with the arrow keys though? Uh I don't know. Okay, remember this is your click. Mm -hmm. I recommend using your right hand to operate these ones. Okay. So you actually use your middle finger and you use up and down like that. Okay. Can you do that? Yes. Okay, enter to start. Mm -hmm. So you wanna try and stop the ball. Oh, oh, go get it, go get it! Oh, you got it! Nice! Now watch, oh, you got a, you got a goal. Get ready, it's coming back. It's gonna bounce off the bottom. Ah! So you know what's cool is, do you see how the background is the forest that you picked? Yes. And the lines are the red that you picked? Yeah. So do you know that you changed that? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So that was actually super easy and super fun. I'm sure that the astute among you have probably noticed that when I filmed the intro and this, I had a haircut. Um, and so obviously it's not done on the same day, but that's okay, minor detail. What's good about it actually having been about a week is that my son's been playing with the Kano. Well, play, he thinks he's playing, but he's actually been learning a ton. Um, and the session that we did in there would just just barely scratch the surface There is a ton of stuff that you can do with it um, Especially when you get into the like hack minecraft functionality So if you've got a young person in your life that you want to get started on the path of learning about computer hardware and coding Or even if you're someone a little bit older who wants a simple and fun way to get into coding The Kano computer kit is designed for beginners of all ages You can learn all about it and order one for yourself at the link in the video description so thanks for watching guys. If you dislike this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, check out our merch store, and go sign up for our forum where you can chat computer enthusiasm, whether it's hardware or software, with a bunch of uh, other folks just like you. That's linked below as well.